Hello and welcome. I'm Matt Landers from Covalence. And in this video, I'm going to teach you how to use React.Lazy and some new features in React 16.6 to code split your application. Now, why would we want to code split our application or what does that even mean? Well, essentially, if you have a really big site, uh, you may not want to pull down all of your components and everything on that initial page load because it may take a little while for that to happen. And we want our initial page loads to be as fast as possible. So code splitting allows us to take some of our components and put them in different files. And then they're only loaded from the server whenever that component is requested or it's gonna be rendered. So first let's take a look at this application that's not code splitting. And then we'll go back and do some code splitting with it. All right, so this is very, very simple application. I just have a React router in here. Um, and there's two pages. There's a home page and a lazy component page. Uh, whenever we click one of the links, it'll just transition to that. So let's just take a look at it real quick. So let me run it. We have home and lazy. And then I've got my network up over here so that you can take a look and see what's being brought down. So when I run this page, only app.js is coming down. So that means that when the lazy component is clicked, it's part of that app.js bundle. And what we want to do is split the lazy component out of the app.js bundle into its own bundle so that whenever it's, uh, whenever we initially load this page, it's not loaded. It's not brought down from the server. It only happens whenever we route to that component and it needs to be rendered. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we need to do is go into our webpack um, config and we need to add to our output a chunk file name. And in here, we're just going to add name.bundle.js. So this just allows Webpack to create its own name uh, for any bundles that are dynamically imported. So one of the things you're going to need to add to your project if you're using Babel is this plugin called the Plugin Syntax Dynamic Import, because we're going to use a dynamic import rather than a normal import so that these imports can be uh, dynamically loaded from the server rather than statically loaded into our initial bundle. All right, so let's take a look at our code over here. Uh, now what we need to do too is use react.lazy. So in react 16.6, we have this new react.lazy uh, feature that we can use. So I'm gonna go ahead and comment out this import. And I'm gonna change it to a const, just a variable. And we're gonna use react.lazy here and then we're going to just have a function that does a dynamic import. So this is the difference in how that import is working. If you don't have, um, if you don't have that plugin for Babel installed, this won't work. Uh, your build will just fail. So let me go ahead and restart my build process over here since I changed the Webpack config. And there we go. So that's really all that I had to do uh, for this to work. And you'll notice when we come over here into public, we have our zero.bundle.js here. So it's, it's created more bundles now for me. That's where I'm compiling everything. All right, so let's go ahead and load the home page, and we'll see we get the app.js loaded. And we click lazy. Now we've got this zero.bundle.js loading. So that's only loading whenever we navigate to a page with that component on it. So we've split that out of our app.js into its own bundle, and now it only loads whenever it's needed to be loaded. So this is pretty cool. Pretty easily we've been able to add this to our application. And there's one other thing that I wanna show you, and that's the suspense component that's provided as part of React as well. Um, so basically what this does, you can wrap components in it, like I've done here, and if, if there's a component that hasn't loaded via react.lazy, like right here, then it will show this fallback instead. And this is just showing a loading dot, dot, dot. So that the user knows that something's happening. Because if we were on a slow connection and our bundle was relatively large, it may take a second or two for it to come down. And we want to let the user know that something's happening uh, in the back end. So it will show this fallback until it's loaded and then it will show it. Now, in this particular situation, we're local to the computer. It's going to be really fast. So you can't tell that it's happening, but this, this won't happen because of the way, the, the speed at which it's loading. So if it, it won't show it, if it doesn't need to, but if it does, it will show it to let the user know that something's happening. And it's very simple to use. You just wrap your components in it that you want to use uh, it with. 
Uh, all right, so that's pretty much it for lazy loading and uh, code splitting with React 16.6 and above and Webpack 4. Uh, make sure you get that plugin installed. Go out, take an application that you have and play around with it and see what you think and leave any comments uh, if you want more information on it. All right, happy coding.